You know, there's always been one thing I've wanted to upgrade on my small boats for my trolling motors. And that was going from a lead battery to a lithium. Well, today we got something to try out. I got a new lithium battery here and we're gonna unbox it for the first time. We're gonna go through it and we're gonna show it hooked up here to the pond hopper and how everything works together. Cause I think truly this could be the real deal dream team to making this boat the ultimate small lake hopper. Join me. The birds think so. Let's see if you think so as well. So the battery we have is from a company called Goldmate. Nice 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery. I will throw the full spec sheet up on the screen here in just a minute. But for the first time, we're going to unbox this thing and see what it looks like. I'm very curious myself to really come across um, how these differ from a lead acid battery. I've heard the differences, but to see it firsthand and then ultimately see how it performs, that is what I'm looking at, really excited for. When we start seeing some of the features, you can see why I'm so excited. The first being the charging capabilities. With 10 times the amount of a regular lead acid battery, it brings a lot to the table there. It's got a built-in BMS system to protect against overcharging and making this a safer battery to operate. And just really, you have a lighter weight and some awesome features. Here we are. We're going to undo this whole thing and take a peek at it. Um, again, you're looking at a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium battery. And we got our little 30 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor that is going to be our testing for the pond hopper. Super excited. Now, there's a couple things worth noting. You're going to have to have a charger because a lithium battery is a little bit different than your regular deep cycle batteries something that has the capability of doing a maintain or charge, depend on the amperage. I got one of these Noco Genesis 2. These work really well. You have one of the recommended chargers that they have listed with the battery on Amazon. I also picked one of these up myself just to have a comparison between the two chargers, just to see maybe one maintains a little bit better, or I just have a couple options because I truly needed another battery charger, but mainly having one for lithium specifically so we can always keep this battery up to par and charge and maintain like they're supposed to they are specifically designed to run and run and run and run and run until they finally have nothing left and you have to make sure you maintain them so they do not have issues so that's why we got a good battery charger and that'll keep you fishing longer on the water got the motor hooked up to the canoe Just for test purposes, we're gonna place it right kind of in the back center. I'm gonna create a landing spot for this to sit for the weight balancing of the boat because if I do this right, I can be up there in the front and have this coming through, working on its own. All right, typical 30 pound thrust, Minn Kota motor, hooked up to the lithium battery for the first time. I'm excited because let's see what happens. Reverse, forward. That baby's got some giddy up. That's what's up. I'm so excited about that. All right, guys, so the pond hopper, that's what we're in right now. We got now a trolling motor mounted to it. It's been my plan for the whole entire time when I built this thing out with Scotty was to be able to have a trolling motor on this. I have outriggers on this to be able to stabilize the canoe on the water, which will help even more so when trolling. But to the weight distribution on this, I've always fished when I was in it out of the back now I can give myself an opportunity to fish out of the front. Now I can get an extension handle to reach from up front and control direction. But there is a GPS wireless way that I can convert this into its own spot lock motor. So that's coming too. But 
now that I have a lithium battery, we can go all day in this thing. Something that has the capacity to do so much more than just your original lead acid battery like we're all used to, right? So I went lithium for a couple things. They're lighter, they're more dependable, there's something that can actually do a whole lot more on the water and not have to worry about something having an issue, right? The pond hopper here that I built out of the Wasatch canoe was something more intended for me to build into and grow. Originally, we have a paddle, which we're still gonna obviously have, but I always wanted to have this thing to be able to troll out of. For our trout lakes that we have, this is a killer opportunity to do a lot of that some kokanee fishing out of this thing, if there's days where the small boat works out better, as well as fishing bass. Bass fishing for me has been something I've taken so much into of late, and it's something I cannot wait to do more of, especially now that I have this motor, because if I can get a few more accessories all dialed in, this thing is truly gonna be set up, and you guys will be able to see how we're doing all this. So stay tuned, I cannot thank golden mate enough for giving me the opportunity to review the battery um and we'll see put some water tests right this is first look first try so far it's really easy to work with if you guys want to see the battery for yourself there's a link description below that you guys can go order it and if you want to see more about that cool pond hopper and everything we did to get that thing set up with scotty check that video out right here all right guys tight lines and fish on!